It will go down as one of the most shocking crimes ever in Tucson. A triple murder at an East Side Pizza Hut took place 15 years ago tonight. This week, I sat down with one of the many people whose lives were changed forever on that late Sunday night in 1999. The Pizza Hut that once stood surrounded by crime tape at Broadway and Pantano is long gone. But what happened there still haunts Kathy Weir. Three people gunned down in cold blood, including her brother, Bob Curry. Three bullets into my brother. There was uh, four or five into Jimmy Bloxham and then two Lisa Moniz. It took eight years and three trials before a plea bargain sent Tom Prosertfong to prison for life with no parole. However, the apparent gunman, Bo Herstel, 17 at the time of the killings, is scheduled to be released from prison 10 years from now. I no longer call it. We don't have a justice system, we have a legal system. When you have a criminal case, it becomes all about the accused. The victims basically become evidence. Weir has seen firsthand the trauma to the families. Her younger brother died of a stroke shortly after learning details of the deaths. I feel a lot of people died because of it, uh, like Lisa's mother. Lisa's mother developed cancer several years later, and uh, she refused treatment. And she died close to the anniversary of Lisa's death. Has forgiveness been possible for Weir? She says, in the case of Tom Prazertfong, yes. He told us he did a lot of bad things that night. He felt sorry for us, and he asked us for forgiveness. And he has my forgiveness. And her still? I, that's probably the only person that I can say on this earth that um, I have issues with. It's been 15 years, but Weir knows the hurt will never go away for three human beings who lost their lives over a few dollars in a cash register. You never get over it, and you never know when it's going to hit you. And I still have issues driving by. Even though Pizza Hut's there, it's still not easy driving by, especially you see those three trees there. And you always think of them. The pizza hut where the murders took place was later torn down. Now, many people assumed it was because of the murders. In fact, Weir says it was because city inspectors would not let the old building reopen without costly improvements. So it became a business decision, and the decision was to tear it down.